Hey guys, FPP here again today, and today we're going to build an underwater item sorter version 2. So let's get building and go from there. So the previous underwater item sorter had one or two issues. It wasn't the smallest and there was some fluctuations because of the multi-piston design. So what we've got now is the version 2, which if you have a look at it, it's very, very compact. It really is a much more simpler design. As you see, like most item sorters, we have two hoppers, one on top of each other. That's generally the main way that you will have most item sorting machines. The bottom hopper will be basically your item that you want to sort in a stack of 64, and then four items that are non-stackable afterwards. The top one is basically 41 in the first slot and one in each one afterwards, just to prevent anything else from going into that slot. So how does it work? If we jump over this side and say hi to our little friend over here, we have a comparator leading out of the hopper that's on top and it goes into a block right here. Now this block is normally unpowered because if I can make it, yep, we have this chest here. Now this chest has two items in it and it has a comparator leading out of it. Now the comparator leading out of it is going into this one right here which is currently in subtract mode you can tell because it has the light on at the moment if you there you go right click it or anything like that it will basically turn it on and off you want the light on for this one and the normal position it will be in is simply that this box unpowered as i mentioned and which means that the piston's not extended and the redstone block is right where it needs to be from there Yep, there we go. Okay, so from there you can see that this redstone block is actually powering this repeater, which is repeating the signal into the block in front of it. Now, on the other side of that block is actually our bottom hopper. So that's actually locking our whole system that we have. So nice and simple. If you're in doubt, basically just copy exactly as you see it. Just remember that this chest has two items this one will have 41, then one in each one afterwards. And this one has 64, then four unstackable items. Remember as well, just using item frames just to make sure that you know what's actually in each one here. So you can tell quite easily that that's lapis, that's brick, that's glass, so on and so forth. And let's have a little bit more of a look at a different build that's using the same techniques, but actually in a slightly different way. So here we have a second base design, which is also using the same system, no different to anything else, except that in this one, it's actually using a flying machine in order to disperse the items. I wanted to just build this one to give you guys a little bit of an idea as to what you can sort of build. I will mention that the ice sort of makes the water go a little bit glitchy if you can sort of see it up here. That's enough in the distance. It looks a bit sort of funny, but the underwater ice spikes, those are to die for. Those are absolutely amazing. The cold water biomes that you get in Minecraft are really awesome when you actually live underneath it. This has just been a bit of an example so that you guys can sort of get a bit of an idea as to not only what you can build, but how you can possibly use it. So if you've liked this video, hit the uh, like, subscribe button, ring the bell, knock the gong, punch your friend in the face, whatever YouTube requires these days. And I hope that you've uh, had a few minutes of fun and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya. That looks like I'm having a fit. It's like my arm's broken.